In my work from home office, I have the need for many receptacles. One thing I'm finding out is I'm using up more than needed for USB charging, so I want to switch this outlet out to one that has USB options as well. Thankfully, Amerisense reached out and wanted to send me one so I could install and review. This is the exact one I'll be installing, and a link will be in the description in case you want to pick one up. It has two USB Type-C ports and one Type-A port. In the box, you get a temper-resistant receptacle, cover plate, screws, and instructions. Here's the unit we'll be installing. To start off, we need to turn the power off. I'll use this Sperry outlet tester to let me know when I found the right breaker. I'll flip the one I think it is, and the lights on the tester should go off. If you don't have one of these, you can use a lamp to do the same thing. These testers are nice to have, especially for testing newly installed outlets to make sure you have the hot and the neutrals in the right order. Here are a few tools we'll be using, a couple of screwdrivers, a non-contact voltage sensor, our outlet tester, and wire strippers. Two other tools we'll need is a utility knife and a pair of needle nose pliers. This is what our new outlet looks like. The hot and neutrals are clearly marked, which is nice. Then they have the ground on the very bottom and a few screws for the mounting plate. Next, we'll remove the flathead screw holding on the face plate. These face plates may be stuck on, especially if it was installed shortly after painting. If so, give it a Jake Paul S jab and it should loosen right up. Even though our outlet tester told us there was no power and we had turned off that breaker, I double checked with a non-contact sensor before I touch any wires or get any further into the outlet. Next, let's remove the two Phillips screws holding the receptacle to the electrical box. Here I have to be careful, as you can tell the top of the outlet was painted over which is bonding the bracket to our sheetrock paper. To prevent tearing the paper further than our cover goes, I'll use a t utility knife to score the paint and the paper so it comes off clean. Alright, that worked like a charm, now we'll pull our receptacle out so we have access to the wires. Here we're being safe and triple checking for no power and as you can see here we have two neutrals and two hots. Thankfully our new Amerisense outlet has a place for both wires on each side. If it didn't we'd have to pigtail the two wires and hook the pigtail around the screw. Now we'll remove the wires. I like to try to pull the wires out but you can also cut them if you want to make it quicker. The advantage of not cutting is so you don't remove any of your length. Some outlets only give you enough wire to barely pull the receptacle out, so it's good practice to try to preserve wire length when possible. Here are the slots we're going to put our hot neutrals into, but first we'll start off with the ground. It's not always easy to get your loop around this screw, so don't get discouraged if you had to fight it a bit, but eventually it will get in there and you can tighten it down. Since the dual holes I'll be using require straight wires, I'll cut off and or straighten these loops out. Now that we have all the wires in and the screws tightened down, the final step is just to give each one a little tug to make sure it doesn't slide out easily. You don't want to be putting the receptacle back in the box and they fall out and you not notice it. The next step is to push the receptacle into the box. Just make sure you know where your wires are and none of them are getting in your way. For instance, here I had the ground wire kind of stopping me from being able to get it in right, so I had to move it out of the way. This is a two-piece faceplate. The mounting plate screws into the receptacle, then the decorative faceplate snaps onto that.
Here's where we'll use our outlet tester again. And once we flip the breaker, we're hoping to see two yellow lights, which means there's power and the neutrals and hots are in the right spots. All right, perfect. We'll test the other, attach the decorative plate, and then make sure this will charge my phone. Thanks for stopping by and hope this video helped. If you like this Amerisense receptacle, be sure to check the description for a link and I'll catch you on the next one.